Elon Musk has said it countless times, Starship is the key to making life multiplanetary. It's not just a rocket. It's the foundation of a future where humanity doesn't just live on one planet, but across the solar system. But before Starship can take us to Mars, it must first prove itself on a mission far closer to home, the Moon. And now comes the twist. In a stunning statement, Gwyn Shotwell, SpaceX's president and COO, has confirmed something few thought possible. Starship HLS will be ready on time for NASA's Artemis III mission in 2027. Let that sink in. The most complex spacecraft ever built, still struggling with leaks, engine failures, and test explosions, Shotwell insists it will land humans on the moon in less than two years. But can SpaceX really deliver on this extraordinary promise? Or is this the boldest gamble in aerospace history? Welcome back to SpaceX Saga, where today we break down Musk's dream, Shotwell's promise, and the ticking clock leading to Artemis III, humanity's next giant leap. We're now in the second half of 2025. The countdown is on. Artemis III is officially scheduled for 2027, and it's no ordinary mission. For the first time in over 50 years, astronauts will attempt to walk on the moon. But unlike Apollo, this isn't a quick visit. Artemis is about building a pathway to something bigger, a permanent human presence beyond Earth. Here's how it will work. NASA's SLS rocket will launch the Orion capsule with astronauts aboard. Orion will reach lunar orbit. From there, the crew will transfer into SpaceX's Starship Human Landing System, the massive vehicle tasked with descending to the lunar surface and bringing them back. Sounds simple, right? But behind this plan lies one of the toughest engineering challenges in history. The challenges facing Starship. HLS. For Artemis III to succeed, Starship HLS must master multiple breakthroughs, each one a potential showstopper. 1. Orbit first. So far, not a single Starship has completed a fully successful orbital mission. Some have reached space, others exploded. For Artemis III, SpaceX must prove Starship can reach orbit safely and consistently. 2. Flawless booster and ship landings. NASA won't accept partial successes. Starship must demonstrate reusable, reliable landings for both the booster and the ship, something still far from routine. 3. Orbital refueling, perhaps the hardest challenge. To get to the moon, Starship will need massive amounts of fuel transferred in orbit. We're talking about cryogenic methane and oxygen, hundreds of tons, moved in microgravity with pinpoint accuracy. Nothing like this has ever been done before. 4. The Lunar Ready Vehicle While leaks of the HLS interior and crew elevators have appeared, no one has seen a fully assembled, flight-ready lunar starship. The clock is ticking. And yet, Gwyn Shotwell told NASA directly, If there's a delay in Artemis III, it won't be because of us. That statement alone has changed the conversation. Why Shotwell is so confident behind the scenes, SpaceX is preparing for something we've never seen before. Rapid-fire Starship testing. Flight 10 and 11 are already being readied. The new version 3 Starship and Super Heavy boosters are rolling out of Starbase. Elon Musk has even suggested 25 Starship flights could happen in 2026 alone. Think about what that means. 25 flights in a single year isn't just testing. It's acceleration at a scale the space industry has never experienced. Each flight is an opportunity to fix leaks, refine engines, test heat shields, and eventually attempt the holy grail, orbital refueling. If that system is proven by mid-2026, SpaceX could attempt an uncrewed demo lunar landing before the end of that year, a crucial step toward Artemis III. The monsters SpaceX must defeat. But confidence alone doesn't solve engineering. Let's talk about the monsters still standing in SpaceX's way, leaks. Starship's fuel system must be flawless. Even a pinhole leak in liquid methane or oxygen can destroy the mission. Engines. The Raptor 2 engine is powerful but unreliable. Almost every flight has seen failures. Enter Raptor 3. Simpler, stronger, more reliable. SpaceX says it's the future, but until we see it fly, it's just a promise. Heat shield. 
Over 18,000 ceramic tiles protect Starship during re-entry, but tiles have cracked, fallen off, and overheated in past flights. For Artemis, this system must evolve into something far beyond the shuttle era, durable, reusable, and flawless. Orbital refueling. This is the biggest leap. Imagine docking two skyscraper-sized rockets in space, then transferring hundreds of tons of cryogenic fuel while in freefall. It's a ballet of precision that's never been attempted. SpaceX doesn't just need to try it, they need to make it routine. If even one of these monsters wins, Artemis III slips. The Bigger Picture Here's the twist. NASA needs Artemis, but SpaceX, their eyes are already on Mars. Elon Musk continues to push the dream of colonizing the Red Planet. And while Artemis is important, it's only a stepping stone in his vision. That raises a critical question. Will SpaceX prioritize Artemis or Mars? With China planning a crude lunar landing by 2030, the moon isn't just science. It's strategy, prestige, and leadership in the new space race. For the U.S., Artemis must succeed. And for Artemis to succeed, SpaceX must deliver. Quiet progress. Few have seen. While the world sees fiery test failures, SpaceX is quietly moving forward. Leaked photos show HLS crew sections already under construction. Astronaut elevators for the lunar lander are being tested. The new star factory at Boca Chica is ramping up production to levels never seen before in aerospace. Shotwell's confidence may come from progress hidden behind closed doors. The final question. So here we are, less than two years from launch. NASA's Orion capsule is nearly ready. Artemis II hardware could fly in 2026, and SpaceX, against all odds, claims Starship HLS will be there, ready to land astronauts on the moon. Will they really pull it off, or will Artemis III slip into the late 2020s? What do you think? Will SpaceX's Starship HLS truly be ready by 2027? Comment yes if you believe Shotwell's promise. Comment no if you think the timeline will slip. And don't forget, this is SpaceX Saga. We're on the road to history, and your support helps us keep covering every step of the way. So smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next update. Because the next two years won't just decide the future of Artemis, they'll decide the future of humanity in space. This is Kevin with SpaceX Saga. And always remember, curiosity, imagination, and ambition will take us further as long as we keep looking up.